I swear, dogs are a scourge on the wasteland. Just ambushing everybody. There we go. Hey, you. I saved your life. I've got nothing to say to you. Best move on. I want to punch you in the face until you are dead. But we're freeing people. We're saving lives. I'm just gonna temper that need to kill you for your insolence. That's a something. What is this? Looks like a barn. Maybe it's related to that terminal I found up here about the farm. Hmm. Yeah, I got him. Now I only have one more bullet. Those those slavers took all my bullets. There is no way no way that you have that kind of accuracy that far of a range. Stuck on something! No! What a horrible way to die. Oh, pugilism illustrated, you don't say. I'm gonna tear your fucking throat out! You're dead. Dead. Ah. Uh. No, I took too many. Don't shoot my dog. Well, I did come up here to shoot you anyway, so... I was about to say, I wasn't going to waste a 44 on that. Oh, I should dr drink. Drink, eat the book. Oh, I need to raise my skill. Well, that's relevant. All right. All right, so we get that up to 50 somehow well it came with a book can't argue with this detour even if I can't have it right now hmm whiskey I may have a problem but that problem is not a lack of whiskey also I'm pretty sure I saw a lawnmower blade in there
Oh yeah, you. I did not loot you. I did the immersive looting. Yes, that is a lawnmower blade. That is also a gas tank and a handbrake and a second lawnmower. One more pilot light and I can make two of them. Hunting rifle, medical brace. I should take the assault rifle. That's 76. That's pretty valuable. All right. What is this? You look like you will buy up some of this garbage I just picked up. It's alive! The wasteland is reborn! What? What? What is it? What did you see? I saw life. Life is returning to the waste. The Great One brings it to all of us. Okay. Ah! Ah! I did not do that. <gasps> the hat also gives barter? Let's look at this note. Trading caravan log. By tomorrow I should reach the Green Mountain. The people there may be weirdos, but hey, they trade great stuff for the weapons and ammunition, so who am I to complain? Last time I was there, they told me that someone named the Great One wanted to speak with me, and that I should drink some of their homemade hooch and join them in the ceremony. I'll probably take them up on it this time. Hmm. I'm guessing that's it. Look at all these vaults. Alright. Well. I am disappointed that you, you know, did not want to help me out with selling my stuff. But I'm thankful for the map marker and for the hat. Does this hat look better? Extra glasses? All the time? Actually, I do kind of like that look. We might wander around like this for a little bit. Anything here? Doesn't look like it. Looks pretty good. Terminals, tool bins, bottle cap mine, Nuka Cola Quantum. Yes! Let's make this shish kebab. Need one more pilot light. That's right. Shish kebab, 18 versus the power fists, also 18. Look at this. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. I want to take some junk. Thank you for the food. Thanks for the meal. Well, I'm sure this opens this. Is that a central module? Yes, it is. Okay. Scoped 44. Can I get that up high enough with the weapon? With the, sorry, with the outfit? Yes, I can. Yes! That one was tricky. Just the unlock? Yeah, just the unlock. Figured as much.
Hmm. I feel like I'm familiar with things that go up onto roofs of small places like this. Hmm. Guess not. Yeah, that probably is not the right look. Let's put on the good hat again. Oh, and I should hotkey this new weapon. Shish kebab. All right. The Republic of Dave. the Republic of Dave. Mm. Prepare to be reclaimed by the wasteland? Nah. I'm not here to hurt anyone. What is this place? This is the Republic of Dave. Duh. It's named for President Daddy. But you have to talk to him if you want to stay here. Who's this Dave guy? Why does he have his own republic? He's the president of the Republic of Dave. Duh. You can ask over at the Museum of Dave if you don't believe me. But you can't just wander around here. You need to go get permission from President Daddy first. Okay. Okay, I'll take you. But President Daddy doesn't always like new people. Okay, follow me. This is not the weirdest thing I've seen in the wasteland. Ralphie, you want to play? Can't you see him doing important things? Hmm. Well, as far as republics go, they have a new generation, so they have a lot of generations apparently. The Capitol building of the Republic of Dave, really? Okay. Hello. Bye. Man, the Brahmin smelled awful today. Okay, Dave. I am Dave, President of the Republic of Dave. You will address me as Mr. President, or I will have you executed. Now, are you applying for a citizenship, asylum, or just vacationing in the Republic of Dave? I'm an ambassador from the Wasteland. That's just what I would expect to hear from another spy from the Wasteland. You have one hour to leave the Republic of Dave or be executed. Uh, no. Dave, Dave, no, no. Oh, look at this. The spy has returned to gather intelligence. You'll get nothing from me, spy. What do you want? Uh, there must be something I can do to stay. Hmm. Now that you mention it, the president could use a new hunting rifle. Tell you what. You find me a serviceable hunting rifle, and I'll grant you special asylum within my republic. Or you can just pay the 250 cap tax on unwanted refugees. You know what? I'm cheap. I'll be back with one. Very well. I look forward to it, future refugee. Pretty sure I left one on the raiders. Dave doesn't like us talking to strangers. All right. Hey there, honey. Have you spoken? Good to see you. All right, Dave, I have it. Ah, you're back. So, have you brought a gift for the president? Which is it? The rifle or the money? Yes, this will do nicely. Congratulations! You are now an official refugee of the Republic of Dave. All right. 
I don't know why you would take a hunting rifle over a Chinese assault rifle, but that's here. Mr. President, do you know a ghoul named Mr. Crowley? There's a name I haven't heard in a long time. Before the people elected me president, I worked with a mercenary named Mr. Crowley. We were part of an expedition to Fort Constantine. What happened at the fort, Mr. President? Two of us died, including Crowley. The rest achieved the mission goals and were paid. Crowley is alive, Mr. President. Alive? I always wondered. He was locked in with a bunch of feral ghouls. They won't attack ghouls, you see. The key is part of the Republic of Dave treasury. I couldn't possibly part with it. What's so special about this key? You need all the keys to get through Fort Constantine. With only one key, there's no point in my going back. It'd be a strategic, diplomatic move, Mr. President. Hmm. Of course it would. I knew that. I was just testing you to see if you would realize it. Here, take the key. It is a gift from the Republic of Dave to the Wasteland. Cool. That's very convenient. Anything happening in this place, Mr. President? There's an election for the next president. Don't look so surprised. Can't you see this is a republic? Mm, absolutely. Let's, let's make sure he doesn't kick me out again. Well then, there you go. An election is what separates a president like myself from a monarch like my father. What? Your father was a monarch? You mean like a butterfly? How much radiation have you been exposed to? Not the butterfly, you moron. I meant the kind of leader that holds his office for a life. My father inherited his political power from birth and renamed this great nation the Kingdom of Tom. Although I also inherited my political power from my father when I took over, I formed a republic so the people may elect their leader. I'd like to discuss this election with you. The election is still going on. What do you want to know? Who's eligible to vote? Eligible. That would be Bob, Shauna, Jessica, Rosie, and myself. In the Republic, if you're old enough to carry a weapon, you're old enough to vote. Rosie and Jessica are usually here in the capital. Bob usually hangs out outside near the Brahmin pen. Shauna runs the Museum of Dave, so you can find her there. I'd like to throw my hat into the ring for the presidency. I'm sorry, but the president must be a citizen of the Republic to run for office. So you do not qualify. Hmm, not that I think I could really convince them to vote for me. But I do need a player home. So it was worth a shot. Nobody except me. Why would the people need anyone else but Dave? I give them all that they ask for. How can I help with the election? I told you before. I'll spare a few caps if you just tell each of the adults to get over to the voting booth sometime today. There's Jessica, Rosie, Bob, and Shauna. I already voted. Well, you didn't actually tell me that, but okay. You'll pay me to get them to vote. All right. The Department of Tourism usually handles all questions for outsiders. Make it quick. I'm interested in learning more about you, Mr. President. Years ago, I freed these poor people from the wrath of Tom, former monarch of the Kingdom of Tom. Afterwards, the people naturally elected me as their president, and the Republic of Dave was formed. Any future plans for the Republic? Well, the Republic of Dave is the only true sovereign nation in the Wasteland. The only really civilized place left in the world. One day, 
All Wastelanders will be citizens in the Republic and know the greatness of their president. So you're in charge here. That's right. As president, I am head of the Department of Tourist Rights, the Office of Immigrant Affairs, and the Bureau of Dave-like Activities. Dave-like Activities, My proudest duty, wow. second to the presidency, is Commander and Chief of the Army of Dave, the most ruthless military in the wasteland. Yeah, I think you're in for a, a bad decision there, buddy. Well, good for you then. Very well. Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Dave says you're okay? Fine. Tell me about the Republic from you your point of view. You should talk to Dave, but okay. Tell me more about you. All I have to say is Dave is my husband. Mine. Do you understand? I don't care what Rosie has to say about it. Just because Rosie used to be this big leader out in the wasteland, she thinks she's better than me. She even ordered Dave around once. Okay, so you don't like Rosie and you're jealous or insecure about her. You're Dave's second wife? First wife. Rosie is the second wife since she's the oldest and not good for anything anymore. Tell me more about Dave. That's President Dave to you, Wastelander. Call him by his full name, or we'll shoot you. He takes care of all of us, even that selfish Rosie and her brats. My children will be a lot nicer than hers. Okay. Dave is a great leader. He's going to bring civilization back to the Wasteland. One day, They'll say it all started here. So you've drunk the Kool-Aid. Okay. I'll help you if I can. Um, did Dave say you could do that? Have you considered running for presidency? No way. You'd have to be crazy to run against him. Anything else? Stay away from Dave. He's mine. Yeah, gladly. Hey, Rosie. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Well, welcome, stranger. Just be mindful of the children. I want to discuss the election. Election time is always exciting around here. Have you considered running for president? Keep your voice down. I'm not really comfortable talking about it out here. Keep your hmm. Only Dave. He's the only person who ever runs. Glad to hear it. Sure, honey. But don't make it too long, or Dave will start wondering why we're talking. You're Dave's first right wife, right? He has two? Well, yes. Dave and I were married when he was wandering the wasteland before inheriting the Republic from his father, Tom. After Ralph was born, Dave said that the President of the Republic needed to repopulate the Wasteland. So, now we have a second wife. Huh. So, that, that explains that. She's too old, and that's why she bossed him around. What can you tell me about yourself? Not much to say, really. I'm Dave's wife, or first wife, I guess. I've lived here for many years now. What's your take on the Republic? We have plenty of food and water here, and the compound is fairly safe. I'm glad the children can be raised here, away from the wasteland. I'd like to see more trading done with the local caravans, but Dave's afraid their outside influence could weaken the Republic. That sounds smart. I need to get you to run for president. You're not crazy. Dave is a good man. He looks after all the children and makes sure they have plenty to do. He's bought a lot of toys, not that he'd admit it. He has Arshana teach classes to the younger ones. She's over at the Museum of Dave to the west of the Republic. Okay. Sure, honey. Goodbye. Take care of yourself. How about you leave? Hmm. I didn't realize I had a key. Hmm. 
Hmm. Oh, Dave's key, the one that he uses to get into the fort for the quest. Ah, it's the keeper of the key. Yes? What can President Dave do for you? I really hope you're not thinking of breaking into there. Uh, no, I'm not. Um, but I am interested in looking around. That's highly valuable. Bottle cap, pre-war money. Have someone new in my republic. Let's look at this weapon. 21 damage. Hunting rifle. Okay. Nice. Dave, go to bed. I need your loots. Go to sleep, Dave. <laughs> Don't give me away, dog. All right, you. Man, I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Ale Have you considered running? Believe it or not, I used to lead a group bigger than this one on an old caravan route. I did it for years, and we did pretty well for ourselves. But what am I talking about? Running against Dave would be like betraying him. You could lead the Republic into a new era, the democracy of Rosie. You're right. Dave's just been pushing me around. It's time for a change. You should go vote if you haven't already. You're right. I'll go right now. The Bronx is <laughs> awful today. All right. Let's convince somebody else here. How about you? Hello. So, Dave gave you the okay, huh? Well, welcome then. I run the Museum of Dave, where the children of the Republic can learn about their heritage. Let's me talk to you about the thing. I'd like to know more about the Republic from your perspective. Sure. The Museum of Dave is happy to answer any questions on behalf of the Republic of Dave's Office of Tourism. Dave has two wives? Dave revised the restrictive marriage laws of the Kingdom of Tom shortly after the Republic was formed. Multiple marriages is now considered one of the great free freedoms of the Republic of Dave. Tell me about you. Me? I just run the museum and teach classes to the little ones. You know, truth, justice, and the will of Dave. You kind of stammered on that last one. What's your take on the Republic? The Republic of Dave offers a rich history rivaling that of the great nations before the war. Okay, let's talk How about the election. Dave -like. Let's discuss the election. Me? I'm not sure if I can help you. Absolutely not. In fact, I'd vote for Dave twice if I could. Hmm. Um, did. Anything else? Well, let's talk about the museum. Oh, yes. Everything here is from Dave's adventures in the Wasteland before he founded the Republic. I give a tour every day starting around 2 p.m. You should stop by then. I'd never really thought about that before. Why do you ask? I happen to have souvenirs from Dave's past for sale. Oh, wonderful. I'd be happy to accept your contribution on behalf of the Republic. And Dave just increased the budget for the museum this year, too. I was going to buy books for the children, but this is far more important. I'm ready to sell you those Dave relics. Great. What do you have? <laughs> this is beautiful. What wonderful items for the Museum of Dave. Later. 
So you won't vote for the new lady. You can't vote. As big as Dave. Museum of Dave. Ashtray beer. I don't need to steal beer. Ooh. Chinese officer sword. Pre war books. Hot plate. There we go. Only through observation will you perceive weakness. Your perception has been permanently increased by one. Yeah, I'll take that. Chinese pistol, Chinese rifle. Actually, does my rifle need repairs? No. No, it doesn't. Let's see about getting this overthrown. Military box. I'll take the darts. I don't think I can go into these rooms over here. Hmm. President Daddy says the people. Yeah, President Daddy is not going to be president for much longer if I can do anything about it. All right, so Dave is voting for himself. Rosie is voting for herself. Shauna is voting for Dave. Jessica is against it. Dave says you're okay. Fine. Uh huh. Poor girl doesn't stand much of a chance, does she? Did you ask Dave if that's okay? Okay. You're safe as long. Good to see you. I really hope you're not How thinking of breaking in. How do I get into, into the ballot box? I need a key to the ballot box. Does Dave have a key on him? That's different from Dave's key. Ooh. He has an awful lot of bottle caps, actually. How does one get into it? Maybe I have to wait for the right time? Hmm. Let's go find this other guy. Wasteland? Wow! President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. Hmm. Well, you're just gonna follow me around here. Let's see about here. You don't belong here. Yes? What is it? Come on, I don't have all day. I'd like to discuss the election. Oh yeah? What about it? You know Rosie is running now. So I've heard. She couldn't possibly think that she'd be better than Dave. Man, I'd love to be the president. Everybody would have to listen to me or I could just exile them to the wasteland. And the first thing I'd do is make myself the permanent leader so they couldn't vote me out in some other election. But there's no need for me to run. One year, Dave hmm. is just going to make me the leader, just like my grandpa Tom did for him. The Republic needs a new champion of freedom. Yeah, I'll show him. When I'm in charge, everyone will have to say I'm as good as Dave. Better even. All right. You should go vote. Well, actually, I don't want you to vote yet. Just don't bother me. I've got stuff to do for Dave. Let's see if this opens up more options now. Let's see what time it is. General... Status. Here we go. Time... Data. There we go. It's midnight. 
I don't want to wait through the night. I want to talk to you about the okay? election. Fine. Uh -huh. Bobby and Rosie are both running now. Wow, what's going on in this town? No way. Mm, I don't think you can do that. You'd better ask Dave. Anything else? Hmm. Yeah, see ya. So Bob and Rosie both running doesn't change her votes. Her votes are still for Dave. President Daddy says the people from outside the Republic are bad. President Daddy says the people... Keep... Something you need? Let's talk about the election. Me? Wow. This is the first time we've had so many choices. Absolutely. Hmm. Any well, let's have you go vote. Oh no. Dave sent you to tell me that, didn't he? I'll go right away, I promise. Alright. Well, let's have them all vote okay? and see what happens. A wastelander. You don't. Yes? What is it? Fine. Hello. Man, the Brahmin smell. Oh. Dave says you're okay? I guess you're right. All done. Dave's the best. Is there a quest for the Republic of Dave? No, there isn't. Hello. Did you already vote? I think I already told you to vote. I heard that Dave allowed you to stay. Already did my part. Yeah. Yes? Okay, Dave. Yes? What? Of course I voted. I was the first to vote. Now I'm just waiting. Very well. Hmm. What am I waiting on then? Ah, her. The Brahmin smell awful today. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can see you eyeing it. Ah, Dave, lead our republic to glory. Hey. I think everybody's voted now. What about the other guy? Man, the Brahmin smell awful today. Ah, there you are. Last one. I'm gonna win this. So if I can't convince them, I'm gonna have to just tamper with it. Come on. Out of my way, dog. Dave, it's uh, time for some ballot yes. tampering. What can pre The election is still going. Looks like all the votes are in, Mr. President. Good. The votes are in. If you'll excuse me, I'll be getting started on tallying the numbers. Oh yes, I almost forgot. Here's your caps. Keep this up and I may deign to make you a citizen in a few years. Let's see about tampering with this. Let's see what we have here. A vote for me. And another vote for me. A vote for Rosie. Wait a minute. Has somebody tampered with the ballot box? Hmm. After counting the votes, the president is... Rosie! 
Rosie Kim, president? No. This is unfair. This can't be. Fine, I'm leaving. See how you people do without me. Enjoy your new president. <laughs> it worked. Mr. President? Dave says you're okay? Fine. Have you heard Rosie won the election? Rosie's going to be the new leader? What will Dave do? Yeah, see ya. <laughs> nice. He counted a vote for himself, but because I took it out of the box. Nice. Hey there. All right, Rosie. Tell me how you feel about this stuff. Well, now, who could have ever thought? Me, president. Huh, things are really going to be different around here. Listen, I can't thank you enough. You convinced me that I could do this, and you were right. I want you to have something. Dave kept some big weapon or something locked up in the safe in his office. The code is 1138. It's yours if you want it. We don't need it anymore. Yeah, I already stole that. But thanks. Alright. Well, that was an interesting diversion.